Hey guys, right off the hop, sorry about the noise, uh, I'm at my office today and we um, we moved in, we kind of put the TV in a bad spot, we put the TV over top of the thermostat, so it's really hard to adjust the thermostat without having another person here. Um, and even though it's been warmer today, the furnace just wants to keep putting out heat. Uh, it feels more than warm enough in here, but it just keeps going. So I'm sorry about the uh, sorry about the sound. That thing might turn off in a few minutes. I've been waiting for hours to do this thing. I was just getting ready to shoot and then the furnace turned back on again. So, um, what are you gonna do? Uh, so yesterday was my weigh-in day. Two weeks, two weeks been doing this. Um, actually, I, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> I'm a little confused myself actually. I know that I weighed myself on a Thursday when I started. I think I weighed myself last Thursday, but it might have been Friday. I, I can't remember. My days are all messed up. And well, whatever. I'm, I'm, Thursday is going to be weigh-in day, regardless if I did it Thursday or Friday last week. But anyways, um, yeah, uh, I did the weigh-in yesterday. Did my measurements. Um, lost another four pounds. Okay. So that means I'm down 12 pounds in 14 days, almost a pound a day. So that's that's pretty good. The whole food deficit and also uh, weight training is is really great, turning out to be a really good combination. Um, I'm, I, I mean, I'm happy. Uh, even in the even in the two weeks I've been doing this, I can I can see physical like. I I can see like drastic physical changes already. Um, I lost another inch around my uh, around my waist, another inch around my hips. Um, my my shoulders they're they're apparently they're like an accordion. They keep getting bigger and smaller. Um, so I'm thinking of maybe getting some tattoo lines on my shoulders. So that way, when my wife helps me measure my shoulders. She can put them on the same spot because my shoulder measurements make no make no sense whatsoever. Um, and then somehow my calves lost a half an inch. Uh, I don't. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I I keep making fun of her about how how she's measuring stuff because um, there's a few things that seem to be off, but a lot of things that do add up, and I can actually see where she's measuring, and it, it's making sense. Um, my neck I lost another quarter of an inch, so I'm down to an 18 inch neck. And I started off with a, what was it, 18 and a half inches two weeks ago. Um, so yeah, I've lost a half inch in the two weeks. Been doing this. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it makes, seeing the progress is making every single day easier in a way. Um, when you know when I used to when I would work out before years ago, um, not having proper nutrition balanced with it, I would you'd never really see much progress. You know, I might see you know my arms might get stronger. I could like see myself lifting more stuff, uh, but I would never really see physical changes. Um, like even now, I can already see like just the way that this shirt kind of is sitting on me. When I, yesterday I was doing shoulders and actually seeing the muscles like move across my neck and across my shoulders um, is something really neat to see because now there's you know there's not as much fat up on my shoulders and my neck as there was a couple weeks ago. Um, so yeah, the, the nutrition part is has been massive. Um, I remember JD, who I'm gonna get to him in a minute, but uh, I remember him telling me years ago that nutrition was 80 percent and the uh, the exercise was 20%, which kind of blew my mind because it's like, well, you're gonna do all this work and it's only like, well, a small amount of what you're doing. But it's true. It's you know, it, it really matters on what you're putting in your body. Um, speaking of putting in your body, uh, one of <laughs> uh, I'm sure a few of you out there have heard of uh, the different pizzas. There's obviously a cauliflower dough pizza and then there's another one called fathead pizza which is basically a mixture 
of cream cheese and mozzarella cheese and almond flour, I believe, to make the dough. And then you make a pizza on top of it. Um, I was really excited to find out that I can eat, I can actually eat pizza still. Because um, that, that's, for me, that's the biggest thing I'm giving up. Uh, I mean, I didn't get this way, you know, by accident, by, uh, by mystery. I know where it came from. It came from pizza and beer. Um, beer, I've decided I'm not going to drink a beer until I hit 200. So I've got 100... And 57 pounds to go before I can drink a beer. But that's okay. I'm, I'm not worried about that. Um, but back to the pizza is I, I, I'll, I'll, link, I'll link the video in the description. Um, but there's this other, there's, this guy came up with another version of Fathead Pizza, which is really simple. It's just take a skillet, take some shredded cheese, and you slowly, you, over like medium heat, you cook it till the cheese becomes crispy. And then you put your sauce and your pepperoni and a little bit of cheese on top as like your toppings of your pizza. And holy shit, this thing is delicious. And like it fits really well, especially the way that I'm eating, I'm only eating once a day. Um, like a pizza about this big around um, works out to around seven or 800 calories, I believe. I gotta double check the numbers on that. Um, but if, for part of my meal, the fact that I can eat a little personal pizza is fantastic especially if you love thin crust pizza because it's just cheese that's cooked um yeah and i, I don't know for me I, I feel like i'm a bit of a connoisseur of pizza because i've eaten so much over the years i'm sorry for for those of you that are watching this and i'm making you hungry by constantly saying the word pizza but that's okay go make the one that i'm talking about and you'll be fine um a lot of the problems with pizzas a lot of time is the dough Sometimes they're too hard, sometimes they're too thick. Blah, blah, blah. Anyways, this circumnavigates all of that because it's just a base layer of cheese. Um, yeah, so it, it might be my new favorite food. It, I got kind of excited the other night. I got really giddy when I found out that I could eat pizza again. Um, but I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to do a video. I'm, I'm going to try to branch out a little bit here with these vlogs. I don't want to just be me talking to you and say, hey, look what I did today. Uh, I'm going to start branching out a bit, start uh, shooting some foods, um, some recipes. One of the things I'm going to do is tomorrow, actually, I'm going to Hamilton to see one of my best friends. Uh, we've been friends since we were little kids, so like over 30 years now, probably like 30, 32, 33 years we've known each other. Um, and he's a personal trainer. He works for Good Life. Uh, and he's JD. Uh, his name is also Justin. For those of you who don't know him, um, he does have a channel, which I'm going to also look at, link in the description. Um, he, his channel right now is very focused on showing you form and technique on how to properly do your exercises. Um, that's one thing that, like I said, I've, I've really taken from him over the years. The things that he's shown me is, is really about foundation and making sure your form is correct. Because if you're just working out and pulling weights and doing things the wrong way. One, you can hurt yourself. Two, you're not actually hitting the muscles that you need to be hitting. Um, but we're gonna get into all that probably tomorrow, but I'm gonna shoot uh, him basically torturing me. He, he told me not to work out tomorrow. I told him it was my day off anyways. And then he laughed. And then I told him that, well, I'm doing leg day on Friday. And then I'm going to see him on Saturday. He laughed even more. So it should be interesting. Um, I have a feeling tomorrow might be the sweatiest I have gotten. And there goes the furnace. Uh, tomorrow might be the sweatiest that I have gotten in the last two weeks. So I'm looking forward to that. Please check out his channel. Uh, I'm going to link it in the description below. Uh, Justin DePels Maker is his name, and he's a personal trainer. Um, and be a great, great resource for anyone that's looking for uh, any information for, for fitness. Um, and if you happen to be in the Hamilton area, he, he works at Good Life there, in case you're looking for a personal trainer. Um, I've also got a couple links in the description below, just for the few of the products that I've been using, like I've been using Bulletproof Coffee, uh, the L-carnitine uh, supplements that seem to be working really well with pulling fat around and getting energy out of that, um, and a few other things. Uh, so if you are interested in looking at stuff and picking some of it up, you know, hit the link below. And I also, 
Yeah, so like I said, my last video is I'm looking for someone to help me with getting some apparel. I do want to get my own branded stuff. Uh, but for now, I've set up a little web store um, to, uh, to buy Just Fit t-shirts. So in case you'd like to have a Just Fit t-shirt. I wish I was actually wearing one so I could show it off right now. Um, but they're, uh, they're going to be up and available. So if you want to buy one, go ahead. That'd be great. Share, show your friends. Um, obviously, I get a little little kickback out of that, but, um, but yeah, you know, just trying to build a brand here. So again, thank you for watching. Um, like, subscribe, share the video, and you guys have yourselves a great weekend.